Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Rui here. So today I have a size comparison and review of these two beautiful, beautiful bags. They're called the Margot bag from The Row. The Row is owned by Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen and I think this bag is going to go globally viral in 2024. It has been really popular for like the handbag aficionados already, but I think it's going to go more mainstream. And as a testament to that, it has been named the new Birkin by a few articles. I don't necessarily think that's true because although this bag is very hard to get, that is a stock issue and not really a um, manufactured scarcity issue like Hermes does. But yeah, so here we have the beautiful Margot bag in a size 12. That means that this width here is 12 inches. And here we have the Margot 15. Obviously that would mean that this is 15 inches here. There is a Margot 10 and a Margot 17, which as you can guess is 10 inches and 17 inches. And yeah, so a little about these bags. They're actually not mine. I really, really want this one and I have asked my mom to sell it to me, but she doesn't want to because as you can see, it's brand new. She bought it a few months ago. She just hasn't really like started using it yet. And so she has two of the exact same bag. If I could choose, I would love to have the natural leather version of the Margot 12 or the suede version of the Margot 12. I think they're so beautiful. And I think I'm kind of past the point where I'm so worried about bags that I don't want them to scratch. I want to wear the Margot 12 the way that Mary Kate and Ashley wear their Birkins and Kellys, which is like just they're scratched up, they're overfilled, and I just think it's like so chic. So that's the kind of way I would love to use my Margot 12 if I were to be able to buy it. I might be able to buy it tomorrow. Um, because the department store that my mom is a very loyal client of is having a private sale and I would be able to buy it for 1,500 euros less than the retail price. Um, but I'm leaving Japan tomorrow actually, so I'll have to see how well my mom can shop for me. But anyways, getting into the video, I want to first talk about my favorite size, the Margot 12. It does have two metal buckles as the only hardware, so I do think that's a contributing factor to why it's so lightweight. Let me take out the paper. I'm being very careful because this is her new bag and she was kind enough to let me use it to compare the two sizes. The only way you can actually close the top of this bag is with this, um, I think these are called like bone buttons. So you're gonna put the metal hardware through the loop. I'll show you in a second, like that. So it's like a belt, but basically it's still totally open. And I don't think that anyone who has, um, who's on the go is going to be opening and closing the bag like that because it is quite difficult to do. You can make the bag more tight by tightening the buckles the same way you would tighten a belt but here's the inside so you can see it is canvas lined and there are a few compartments you can see here there's two card slots on this side this these two black patches and there is a zipper compartment on the other side feet on the bottom and that's it there's nothing to it it's just such an organic and slouchy shape there's really nothing you can hate about it it's just like a classic classic bag the 15 sorry the 15 is the same exactly same inside so it's canvas lined but it is considerably bigger but it does slouch more you can see the shape is different. Keep in mind this one has been used and this one is brand new though. And it really, really brings out the character of the bag the more you use it because it becomes more slouchy. 
Uh, I love that. I've always loved a slouchy bag, so if it were my bag, I would not mind. But if you prefer a more structured bag and you were considering it, I would maybe refrain from purchasing this bag just because it is supposed to slouch. It's not a defect. It's a characteristic of the bag. Okay, so one more difference between the 12 and the 15 is that the 12 inch size comes with a very, very simple shoulder strap. There are loops inside the bag that you can attach the strap to. It's just, I'm not really a crossbody bag person. If it's a handheld bag, I would rather hold it by the top handle rather than use the crossbody strap. But if you like to be hands-free, then the 12 would be the bag for you because you can put the strap on. So moving on to the 12, I want to show you guys what fits in the bag. And even though it is the smaller or second smallest size available of the Margot bag, I would say for me, it's very, very spacious. I wouldn't need more than this 99% um, of the time. So we'll start with my wallet. So this is my Louis Vuitton key pouch. I keep my cards in here as well as my house keys. This will just go here. I'm not gonna use these side compartments just because it's not my bag. I don't want to stretch anything out. And next we'll put a camera. This is just a very thin camera. So we'll put it there. You can see that it it's um, basically not made a difference in the space you have in the bag. So I'll put something bulky. This is my travel jewelry case. That will go here. You can see there's still a lot of space. This is my makeup pouch from Prada. And we can fit that right here. So I've put in two really bulky items. And you can see that there's still more than half of the space left in the bag. It's really hard to see. I'll show you guys when I put everything in. And then I will put a large hand towel. This is the Hermes towel I talked about in a video. It's actually useful, so you don't have to waste money buying things you don't like. So there we go, a huge hand towel. Here is my mobile battery or portable charger and sunglasses so that's everything that i just fit in this bag and as you can see it is full but it's not over full at all for me this is way too heavy i would never carry this much stuff i just wanted to show you guys the capacity i'll show you now exactly how it looks with all this stuff inside okay so here is the bag you can um undo these buckles to make the opening larger obviously but you can see that everything fits really nicely i'll take everything out one by one so you can see there's a lot of space this is a very spacious bag unless you're using it as a travel bag or if you carry a lot of things to work i think the 12 is perfect and we're gonna fit things into the larger bag now, sorry, these are all tissue papers that I took out of the bags. So let's see what we can fit into the 15. As I said, it is 15 inches, so it's three inches larger than the 12. And you'll see that it fits so much more. My Hermes hand towel will go in the corner here. Prada jewelry pouch here. My Prada makeup case will go with the towel. Can you see? It's basically empty. My card case also in the corner. Mobile battery, here we go. Camera, we'll use this space here. And my glasses case. So this is basically way more than I would carry on a normal day. I don't carry my jewelry pouch or my makeup, none of that. And you can see there's still a lot of space. This is all empty space here. And you can fit more things here. There's a lot of height that you can fill as well. 
So if you're thinking about using the Margot as a work bag, I could honestly make it work with, sorry, that's all my mess. I'm packing to go back to Germany. You could probably make it work with this if you're like me, you don't carry so much stuff. But if you're gonna carry lunch, water bottle, like makeup, um, I don't know, stuff like that, then the 15 would be the best size for you. But I just think this is the most perfect size. It's so cute. I'll show you guys what it looks like, um, like being carried by me. I'm 166 or five, yeah, let's not lie. I'm 165 centimeters and about 48 kilograms for reference, if that helps. So I'll show you guys how it looks on me right now. Okay, so. I know I'm a bit far away, but I'm in very um, substandard filming conditions. Here is the 15 and the 12. The 12 is definitely my preferred bag size. I think it's so cute. Let me show you how it looks being worn. Such a cute bag, it's so beautiful, very understated. And here is the 15. For me, it would be more like a travel bag if I'm going on a road trip or if I'm going to the airport and I need to carry like a bunch of stuff. You could put a dog in here. If you have a small dog, your dog could easily be put in this bag and be very comfortable. side by side so um, I know I look really bad today I've just had a really hard few days and I'm also recovering from being sick. Also, I just woke up because I'm in a rush to film this because my mom's coming home and she needs to use the bag. And my face is very swollen and bloated. Um, it's just not a good time, but I just wanted to get this video out for you guys because I fell in love with this bag. I knew my mom had the 15. I just never knew that she had the 12. Plus, like, the fact that she's had it for, like, six to six months to a year and has never used it i was like can i buy it from you but she didn't want to sell it to me so anyways very very beautiful bags i think they're so cute and i think that it's the bag i want the most now it's really complicated because i i'm on the wait list for a kelly as in like i'm going to get a kelly pretty soon but i don't know if i even want it anymore but I, anyways, I'll talk to you guys uh, when I'm back in Germany, I guess, and I hope you have a great one. Bye.